Quando si cerca una barca, solitamente la si vuole... When looking for a boat, you usually want the one that is beautiful, comfortable, well-made and maybe not too expensive. Ranieri International has just launched this new model, the Next 290SH, and we have to come to Severato, Calabria, to try it. But does it possess the qualities I just mentioned? At first glance, I'd say yes, and some characteristics indicate that the yard has given a lot of thought to the boater's needs, making it easy and enjoyable to sail this boat, and also to save a bit of money. For example, they have mounted a single powerful engine that costs less, has a lower hydrodynamic resistance, so a better performance, lower fuel consumption and lower maintenance costs. So why not always just have one outboard engine? Because with a single propeller, the hull is listing, that is, inclined to one side. Then there is a difference when turning port or starboard, and there are problems in manoeuvring. But this outboard has two counter-rotating propellers that balance their action and the reactions of the hull. And so we see it immediately as it manoeuvred. It rotates practically on the spot, as if we had a double motorization. It seems to have the joystick, but instead there is only one engine and the wheel. Ma torniamo alla barca. But back to the boat. It is 290 for 29 feet, 9.2 meters, and SH stands for shadow, the line to which it belongs. The hull was called Hull Innovati System Second Generation to emphasize the development of previous projects. It has a transverse step to optimize performance and fuel efficiency, and then another hint of a step that, well, frankly, I don't know what it's for. The high sides are another important characteristic of the hull, and at the bow it is clear that geometry of the submerged part of the hull is in perfect harmony with that above the waterline. Qualcuno potrebbe pensare che questo prendisole scuro sotto il sole sia un barbecue. Some might think that this sun deck, dark under the sun, could also be a barbecue. In fact, the air temperature right now is 27 degrees, and the mattress is 41 degrees. Well, you choose whether to lay down a towel or change the colour of the upholstery. The rail height is very safe, and this slender bowsprit allows you to jump on the deck or dive very easily. This seems like a suitcase, but it is a seat and the mechanism by which it moves is particularly well cared for. I like these little hooks for masks and fins. There is also the scupper. Almost everything is done at the construction site, even these elaborate ergonomic chairs. On the protruding side of the deckhouse, this cushion serves as a backrest as well as housing for the speakers. The light-coloured stitching on the dark brown is both sporty and luxurious. In the dinette, there is room for five people. The kitchen is quite large in relation to the size of the boat. The roll bar supports a double awning that covers both the stern and the pilot areas. Below deck, the cabin is finished with light oak and beautiful fabrics. The dinette is a useful shelter for bad weather and is equipped with a porthole, LED lighting, USB sockets, lockers, various storage compartments and a table with telescopic platform that transforms the sitting room into a double bed. There is even a second bunk with a decent headspace. The bathroom is complete with shower.
This music tells me that it's time for the trial. This engine has a capacity of 4,390 cubic centimeters, a V6 with an angle of 55 degrees. Its architecture features four valves per cylinder, double overhead camshaft and a variable valve timing system. They have installed the motor on the third borehole of the stand. Rather tall, it's a sporty fit, and they have mounted a propeller. No, two propellers of 19 and a half inches. Now let's see how the next 290SH of Ranieri International performs. I've given a little flap to lower the bow and to enter into planing more easily. But maybe it's not necessary, so I'll remove it. In fact, the hull begins planing at just 13 knots at 3,500 rpm, with no hint of the nose pulling up. The pilot station is really comfortable, partly thanks to these seats, which also have an ergonomic cushion. But above all, the position of the helm, of the instrumentation. Here we can also have a nice 12 and a half inch plotter. The Suzuki instruments are easy to read. Here I have a radio. Well, this doesn't count. The compass on the center line and this joystick control, which allows me to adjust the hull balance, the lateral deviation and the trim. In practice, if you want to lower the bow, I do it like this. It is indicated. It is very intuitive. If I want to raise it, I do this. If I want to correct the side inclination, this side or this side, it's enough to move the joystick. It's really easy. In the meantime, we have reached a speed of 15 knots, so a low cruising speed. We push a little bit more. At 4,200 rpm, the hull is laid out nicely on the water, sailing at 22 knots. It's a pleasure to sail at this pace. The windshield, as I guessed, does not protect a lot. The wind arrives anyway, but in the summer it's also nice. Also, if you have no screen in front of you, the visibility is great. You don't have to be afraid to use the trim. This boat requires it. Raise it up like this and you can feel the hull run better. The steps work properly. And then, since the hull is pretty high to have so much space in the cabin, the use of the flaps is also important. For example, we are now receiving a bit of lateral wind and so we adjust it slightly. Straighten it up. There we go. It's enough just to barely touch it. It's not necessary to be too insistent. And now that it's nice planing on the water's surface, let's give some gas. The boat raises a brilliant bow wave, but no spray arrives on deck, not even at the stern. We are at 5,300 rpm and the speed is 31 knots. We can do a lot more. Now we'll do it, full speed. We can feel the thrust of these twisted counter-rotating propellers. The hull gains speed. Watch out, 36 knots.
Questa è la massima velocità. 5900 giri minuto. This is the maximum speed, 5900 rpm, 37 knots. And the consumption, with the throttle fully open of this Suzuki 350 horsepower, is about 108 liters per hour. Thirty-eight knots, thirty-nine knots. Even at such a speed, you can see how stable the boat is, how it holds the course. And yet, I have all the trim high. Well, at this speed, the turn is a bit demanding, eh? I was pleasantly surprised by the Ranieri International's flagship test, the next 370SH, and I must say that this, the younger sister, the 290SH, was equally surprising, in a positive sense.